So what is a parable? Mm -hmm. Go to Psalms 49, mm -hmm. verse 1. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world. Right. Both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. <laughs> I will incline mine ear to a parable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will open my dark sayings upon the harp. <laughs> Wherefore should I fear in the dark days of evil when the iniquity of mine heels shall compass me about? <laughs> They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceaseth forever mm -hmm. that he should still live forever and not see corruption for he seeth that wise men are die like the fool mm -hmm. and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others <laughs> Their inward thought is that their horses' houses shall continue forever in their dwelling place to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, men being in honor abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. <laughs> this, their way is their folly. Yet their posterity approve their sayings. Selah. Mm -hmm. Like sheep they are laid in the grave. Mm -hmm. Death shall feed on them. And the upright <laughs> shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Selah. Which we need to repeat. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, <clears throat> when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. <laughs> his glory shall not descend after him. <laughs> Though while he lived, <clears throat> he blessed his soul. <laughs> and men will praise thee when thou dost well to thyself. Oh, no. <laughs> Call lip service, right? In other words, that's a double entendre too. <laughs> it means more than it's saying, in other words. Uh, he shall go to the generations of his fathers. They shall... Never see light. Men that is in honor, men that is in honor and understanding does not is like the beasts that perish. Now Isaiah says the same thing, right? You also seal the truth, right? Right. Now. In reading the story in Genesis, there's two cha three chapters that deal with the first 
three th things in the Bible. Mm -hmm. We ate of a tree's fruit we weren't supposed to eat it. <laughs> Yet, it also told us to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. That's right. Yet, certain passages bring out certain truths. That's right. Starting from Genesis 26 on. Mm -hmm. And God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his image and that's Adam <laughs> Before the woman was taken out of him. <laughs> In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them one from the other. Mm -hmm. Who were both in the same form originally. <laughs> or what we also call today a true hermaphrodite. Or intersex person. Right? And you get this in chapter 2. <laughs> When it goes in more detail. <laughs> and God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for me. <laughs> and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and of, to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, where in there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. Mm -hmm. And it was so. Mm -hmm. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Right. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. but when you get to chapter two, something else is going on. Listen. <laughs> Thus, the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of heaven mm -hmm. of, of them. Mm -hmm. So thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made in his, he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Mm -hmm. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his works which God created and made. Mm -hmm. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the days that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Now that's from our perspective back towards the heavens, by the way. You know? And one is from God's perspective to us. Do you understand what Moses is doing here? And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. <laughs> but there went up a mist, what we would call a geyser <laughs> today, from the earth, <laughs> and watered the whole face of the earth, of the ground. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground mm -hmm. 
and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And this again is the word Adam. Now the word Adam in the Hebrew is plural by its nature. Because it ends with an M. It does not mean it was one being, but two in one. For out of him came the woman, who was must have been in him. 50-50. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, middle, <laughs> And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which we became as to know good and evil <laughs> with it. <laughs> Can you know good and evil with the tree or the angel of Satan in human form? <laughs> Who taught you good and evil? The angel of Satan in human form. <laughs> and how to die? I know. In a river went out of Eden to water the garden. Mm -hmm. And from there it was parted and became into four heads. And you can read that part if you want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we'll go down to verse 15. And the Lord God took the man again and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Mm -hmm. So it's in this day, I know, that Adam will die when he eats of the tree fruit. <laughs> no matter how long <laughs> it was in that day that he ate, <laughs> no matter how long that day is to God, to him, <laughs> that's how long he will live after he ate of the tree fruit. <laughs> and the Lord God said, it is not good. <laughs> that the man should be alone. <laughs> I will make him and help me for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. That's why a lion in English is lion <laughs> in English. <laughs> now, in another language, like Hebrew, it might be Ari <laughs> is the lame of the lion. <laughs> or again, <laughs> heaven in English is the gaseous space between the earth and the ozone layer. But after that, you have space. And after that, you have the third heaven. Mm -hmm. Now, between here and the ozone layer is heaven, though, too, right? And earth is what's underneath the firmament, firmament. <laughs> and that's what it's talking about when it says heaven and earth. Right. The gaseous stuff in the atmosphere that makes us a lot. <laughs> now, this is just bringing out the details of the story more. In line with what Moses said about it, <laughs> without breaching what he said. 
This too is true and not a lie. For it to be a lie would be to deny that we're in a gaseous firmament that we breathe in oxygen and put out carbon dioxide, whereas trees take in carbon dioxide and put out oxygen. <laughs> As if the earth was made for us to live on it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that is not also not what Moses is not saying. <laughs> He's saying that too, but we're adding the truth of what is being said in more detail when we bring out everything Moses also did not say <laughs> in the first three chapters of the Bible. <laughs> what he did not know is that details, that there are gases also in between the ozone layer and the earth itself. <laughs> he did not know that then. But that does not mean he thought about it, nor does that mean it's not also a truth. <laughs> it just means what? <laughs> he didn't know in detail that heaven is comprised of gases Nitrogen, helium, <laughs> oxygen, things like that. <laughs> when he wrote this 3,500 years ago, but we do now. <laughs> it don't mean, though, Moses lied by omitting this information. He might have, uh, have known himself <laughs> when he wrote it. <laughs> But now we do, and with what Moses said, we understand it better. But no one is lying here. <laughs> when you say the heaven of earth goes up so far to the ozone layer and contains gases, clouds, water vapor, <laughs> Lightning striking again and again. <laughs> and things of that nature. <laughs> it becomes part of the truth Moses said. <laughs> Even though he did not say it when he wrote the Bible. <laughs> he does not have to understand it all to project how God made the atmosphere of earth and the planet itself. It just freaking did. <laughs> and he's commenting on it <laughs> that it did make it for us to live up. <laughs> Does it need to be any more than that either? No. <laughs> now what men do though is pretend Moses lied because he did not tell us there was gases in the air. Well, he didn't know. <laughs> My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, knowledge, says one of the Hebrew prophets. But another one said knowledge will increase. We will learn more about our planet. <laughs> Again, <laughs> one is Hosea, one is Daniel. <laughs> they wrote around the same time, right? Anyway, <laughs> they even Paul said, we know in part and prophesy in part, but when perfect knowledge is come, that which is in part shall be done away with. <laughs> Unless you keep denying the whole truth, then you're lying. <laughs> Not me, because I can see the whole truth. <laughs> I know. Someone's been lying to us about it too, 50-50. His name is Lucifer from the beginning. Halel in the Hebrew. Satan, the enemy. Ha, Satan. Right. 
He's mentioned in the book of Job, the book of Isaiah, and the book of Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. Like I keep telling you, and the book of Revelations. In fact, he took a third of the he heavenly beings with him when he fell. Mm -hmm. That means two thirds are still on Michael's side, the archangel, another name to call Jesus in heaven. <laughs> by the way. Mm -hmm. And this angel is also called the tree of life in Eden and walked up and down in the garden in the cool of the day. Meaning, you've heard of Jacob's ladder, right? How the angels ascend and descend into heaven, right? <laughs> That's what it's talking about. He walked up and down the Jacob's ladder, <laughs> from heaven to earth in the sight of Adam and Eve. Right. Because he knew how to either what? Manifest out of thin air. Hello. Right. Like with the disciples after the resurrection. Right. They could not even see him. <laughs> uh, though Mary did. The women did. The women even held him by the feet. Touch me not yet, for I ascended to my father and to your father, to the God of me and the God of you. <laughs> and I ascend again. <laughs> and meaning he's going back into heaven. I know. And he ascended again into heaven, <laughs> from which he descended from as well in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Jesus is the tree of life. And Satan is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Which is a knowledge all unto itself. No. Now. And the Lord God said to the man. Oh. <sighs> And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and brought them to the man. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl and to the of the air and to every beast of the field. Right. Would that take a day though? <laughs> if you're if you're naming every creature on the planet, <laughs> which is what it sounds like here. Do you think that would take 24 hours in an earth day or longer, 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 <clears throat> right? <laughs> this too is part of Moses' parable in telling you the secret of the Bible. Mm -hmm. But for Adam, there was not found and help me for him, right? Now, why is this? Which was made first, Adam or the animals? The animals. All the animals were already male and female when they were named by Adam. Unless you're an earthworm or something. <laughs> or a snail, they're hermaphroditic too. <laughs> hmm. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and... He took one of his ribs oh no, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Mm -hmm. Now, this word means side, rib, bone. <laughs> and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. <laughs> And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. <laughs> she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Right. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh, which means sex and marriage. <laughs> right. <laughs> And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. 
on day six. <laughs> now, this is also Moses speaking from day seven still. <laughs> Though God is still going back to when he made them on day six. Bell is he back? Yes, he is. And telling you how he had Adam before the woman was made from his body. <laughs> and there was no Lilith unless it's Satan's female side, by the way, Jews. Oh, yeah. She's Lilith to Adam. <laughs> She's his second wife, though, not his first. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She had a daughter of the devil himself. <laughs> With Adam, too. <laughs> Else who did Cain marry? Kalyan married his half-sister with Adam and Mrs. Satan, <laughs> who you call Lilith. <laughs> I call her Lilia, <laughs> based on darkness of night <laughs> and a screech out. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Which is also what Lilith means, a screech out. <laughs> Now, then we get to the juicy part of the story. The actual scene itself. <laughs> now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Right. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden? <laughs> One, where the hell was the serpent at? Was it in the tree, by the tree, or was it the tree and it had a penis, which he thought was a serpent? <laughs> and spoke to her from behind the tree <laughs> with its penis exposed to Eve on the tree limb, <laughs> which she thought was a serpent talking to her. Is this a parable or not? <laughs> And do you want to see what the parable is saying? No. no. <laughs> you do not. If you deny, a serpent in Eden can no more speak than a serpent today. <laughs> Even Balaam's dumb donkey could not talk except an angel of the Lord was in its presence who spoke for the donkey. The angel of the Lord can talk to you. <laughs> the donkey cannot sit. <laughs> But that's called ventriloquism when a beam with focal cords speaks for one without. <laughs> that's also in the Bible. <laughs> that's also another parable. <laughs> Later on in Numbers 22 to 23. Check it out. <laughs> and it also has to do with how the serpent spoke the evening. <laughs> An angel of the Lord, or a Satan, <laughs> has to be present for something to speak to you. <laughs> and really, it's ventriloquism because it's really the angel, Satan, speaking to Eve through the serpent. Which, again, a penis has no vocal cords that are in your throat. <laughs> but if you're standing behind a tree with your penis in the branch of a tree... <laughs> And even looking at the penis like it's a serpent, <laughs> her mind would see a serpent, not a penis. She did not know it was a penis attached to the body of Satan until after they ate <laughs> of its root of the body of Satan's penis, <laughs> which fed her its sperm in her body. <laughs> And joined with one of her eggs and produced cayenne or hebo. <laughs> That's why they call it the serpent seed. <laughs> Hello, the seed of your penis produces a child from you and your wife. <laughs> but he also taught them obscure sex according to the Gnostic Gospels. Which means anal. <laughs> And his main target there wasn't Eve, but Adam. <laughs> he also fed Adam the serpent seed, <laughs> but he got the butthole instead. 
and offered Adam his vagina in bottle <laughs> to teach him anal sex. <laughs> in Eden, to give him the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> now the story does not have to say this verbatim for it to be implied by the story itself. <laughs> But it is brought out in other passages too. Mm -hmm. And if you keep reading the Bible <laughs> and don't just stop at Genesis and realize it's a whole story there. Now if you go to Deuteronomy <laughs> 24 <laughs> or 28, whichever, mm -hmm. it's somewhere around there. <laughs> Listen to what it says about the fruit of your body. <laughs> Will be blessed or cursed if you keep the law or not. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you know. Or you're lying to me. <laughs> and sinning against the God of the Bible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, 28, 2. And these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Mm. Blessed shall be Thou blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. <laughs> blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, <laughs> the increase of thy kind, and the flock of the sheep, <laughs> of thy sheep. <laughs> Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and then again, mm -hmm. in verse 15 it says, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes with which I commanded thee this day, 